Hello and welcome to Arsenal Online. Here you will find all the latest from the Emirates Stadium. Welcome back all fellow Gunners across the world. Arsenal vs Brighton Match Report Arsenal manager Mikel Arteta said he was concerned by his side's performance as they handed arch-rivals Tottenham the advantage as they succumbed to their second defeat in a week by Brighton at the Emirates Stadium. Brighton, who were seven games without a victory before kick-off, frustrated the home side with their organisation and efficient forward play in a game where Arsenal were, frankly, underwhelming. Leandro Trossard's curling first-half finish sent Brighton into a well-deserved lead, but Arsenal were not without chances. Gabriel Martinelli appeared to have headed Arsenal level moments before the break, only for a four-minute VAR check to rule him offside. The second half saw Brighton doubling their lead with a superb Mwepu finish. The Zambia midfielder side-footed home with power from the edge of the box and sealed the points for the visitors, sending Arsenal's season into crisis. We made it really difficult for ourselves, Arteta told BBC Sport. We were sloppy, we had no purpose to attack, we were really imprecise and we didn't want to play forward. There are many games to play but we have to be concerned about that performance, especially the first half. Arsenal finally did turn up to the game in the latter stages, with Martin Odegaard firing home from range via a deflection, but the Gunners were lacklustre from start to finish and showed little in the way of a response to what Arteta described as an unacceptable display in Monday's 3-0 loss at Crystal Palace. The game saw seven bookings, as many as there were shots on target, and Arteta may point to a stop-start match as the reason for his side's struggle to find momentum. When they did find that momentum in the closing ten minutes, Lokonga whistled a shot wide, Odegaard and substitute Eddie Nikataya both hit the bar during the same attack and seconds later the deficit was halved thanks to Odegaard's long-range effort. Arsenal saw 65% of the ball and had 20 shots, 16 off target which to challenge for Champions League football is simply not good enough. The Gunners remain in fifth place, three points behind fourth place Tottenham with a game in hand over them. They're going to have to pull themselves together quickly if they are to claim that crucial fourth place at the end of their eight game running. Thank you for watching Arsenal Online. Please subscribe and ring the bell for all the latest Gunners news.